In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the bulge effect in the HitFilm 4X Best Video Editor. The bulge effect you can find in the distortion folder under the effects tab. To apply the effect, left click, hold and drag it to your video clip as such. And then under the controls tab, under the effects menu, you have the bulge, uh, 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 bulge effect. So go ahead left click the toggle and you have a couple of options to work with here. You have a center which allows you to control the position. You have scale which allows you to control the X and Y um, sizes for the bulge. So you'll notice that this bulge is over here in the center. It's not very distinct and in order to uh, change how much um, the bulge, the size of the bulge in terms of how much it stretches outward or inward you use this particular um, bulge um, configuration. So for example, it stretches outward when you make it a bigger number and it stretches inward when you make it a smaller number. Okay, and so I'm going to leave it at something like 4 so it's quite distinct and you can easily see it. The next um, option is position. You can change the position by manually entering um, pixel numbers 500 by 500 and you can see that the bulge moves as I change the position you can also lift click and hold this particular um, cross here and drag it across the video clip to position the bulge wherever you would want to put it for example I can put it over here as an example I'll put it back in the center uh, right click reset and I already showed you this um, this effect, the bulge effect. The next option is radius, which uh, controls co controls the actual size of the bulge. If you make this bigger, you can see that the bulge gets extremely huge. If you make this smaller, you can see the bulge it becomes uh, smaller, smaller, smaller until it's gone. The next uh, option is plateau. Now, if you go ahead and make this uh, plateau bigger, you'll notice that the center uh, is uh, magnified but it's not like stretched or um, uh, bulged if you keep increasing the plateau it pushes the stretch um, the stretches or the part of the video clip that which is stretched into a line as you can see like so and so you know depending on what you're trying to achieve the plateau um, effect is really um, handy Next, you, we have um, wrap for tile and reflect. Now, to, um, if you select tile, if you select reflect, you don't really see much of a change. But in order to see a change, in order to see the change, you have to distort the vi um, video image enough so that you can see its effect. So, first thing I'm going to do is make the radius really big, and then I'm going to make the bulge really small like so. So I made the small extremely small and the radius really big and you can see that there are now empty spaces within the image. In order to uh, address that you can use the wrap effect or the wrap um, configuration to set it to tile which uh, tiles more of the same image in those empty spaces. You also have the option of reflect which simply um, in a very um, more natural, more seamless fashion, um, reflects uh, the center image. You can see the flowers here, you can see the flowers here, and you can see the flowers here. So it does uh, reflect it. So that's what this particular effect does. The next option you have is to choose a shape. You have triangle, you have square, and this uh, simply um, changes the shape of the bulge itself. You have hexagon, heptagon, and these are not so apparent. To make them apparent, I can just do some resetting. I'll make the balls perhaps a bit bigger. And you can start to see that this has a hexagon shape. Then I can increase the plateau. And you can see it's a shape quite distinctly now. So there's heptagon, octagon, nonagon, and decagon. All of these options are available to you. Finally, you have another uh, set of options for the shape. Usually if you uh, select circle that doesn't show but if you select something like uh, I don't know um, as I said hexagon you can see that there's now a shape option 
you can choose the rotation of the shape. Control Z. Oops, hexagon. You can choose um, how many times it rotates, but this is better for keyframing because if you put one, it doesn't uh, show any change. And you can also change a particular degree amount that it rotates. So like so. You can change the curvature, which is really cool in my opinion. This would really make some, for some really cool uh, keyframe effects when I'm uh, making like mosaics and stuff. I'll show you the kaleidoscope in a bit. For the pinch option, it's not so apparent. I'm not sure what this uh, refers to. Finally, there's a shift option. Again, it doesn't show any uh, particular change. And finally, you have the scale options. It simply uh, allows you to control the size of the bulge, like the radius, except only for the x amount, or the or the x axis and the y axis, like so, and like so. Let me try something. So if I bulge it this much, still the pinch doesn't do anything. So yeah, I don't know what this does. And uh, those are all the options and um, configurations that come for the bulge effect. Now you can make some really cool effects with the bulge effect and you can stack them together to make some really nice um, uh, kaleidoscopic patterns. I'll show you the most basic one. I'll move, go ahead and move my um, trimmer or scrubber to one of my previous composite shots and you can see this really beautiful effect. And so let me go ahead and show you what I did in this composite shot. And so the next thing I'm going to do is open up the effects, open up bulge. And over here, you can see this uh, scale, shape, and rotation. And so over here, you'll see that I've made the scale a bit bigger. There's a reason why I did that. It's because I'm actually just stretching out how big the um, uh, bulge is. This way, I can cover up the whole uh, video clip area. I have also putting the bulge to negative 10. I bet um, the reason why is because we want the tile pattern to show. If you make it totally big to like 10, it doesn't really show much. It just zooms into the Im video image. But if it's negative 10, it tiles because, oh my bad, it uses the reflect um, option to make a nice um, kaleidoscopic pattern. If I use tile, it wouldn't look that good. It's just, yeah, it won't look that good. But because I'm using the reflection, it makes it makes for a really good kaleidoscope, a uh, seamless kaleidoscopic effect. So if I go ahead and play that, you can see that it's quite seamless and it looks quite nice. Um, I set the radius to 1,000 uh, pixels because uh, it just just uh, spread it across the video clip the bulge and I set the plateau to uh, 99 um, you can also do a plateau to like something like uh, 0 and it'll, uh, now it's more of a 3D effect which doesn't look too bad in my opinion so I'm going to set the plateau to back to 99 and now it's a nice flat canvas it's not 3D if you want it to look 3D you would set it back to 0 Finally, you have some other options. I already showed you that it's important to use the reflect wrap for this to work properly. Yeah, uh, I've uh, chosen decagon, but this should more or less work with any other shape. Even triangle, same thing. You also have the curvature option, which doesn't is doesn't seem to be important. This is for controlling the shape. Pitch doesn't do anything, and shift doesn't do anything. So I, I went ahead and showed you the important uh, things, configurations required for making a kaleidoscope for the bulge effect. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.